Levo batteries are used in drone for its lower weight and higher efficiency, but while using it in a drone, we actually face lots of problems, and among them puffy battery is the highlighted one. Obviously we can avoid those problems by following some simple steps. Lipo batteries are designed to be charged to maximum 4.2 volt. Retail errors in the voltage doesn't matter, but if you are using a low quality charger, then the error may be up to 0.5 volt, and it's huge for a Lipo battery. Due to overcharging, you will get a lower lifetime of the battery. To sort out those problems, use this type of chargers, it accurately measures voltage of each cell and doesn't even charge 0.1 volt more than you said. Even it provides live monitoring of the data for each cell. If you don't use your lipo battery too much frequently then you have to follow this step. If you charge a lipo battery and leave it for several days without using it then it will automatically discharge. But it doesn't happen when the voltage of each cell is 3.85 volt. Just discharge each cell to 3.85 volt and store it. Well this charger already provides storage function so you can use it. We learned about maximum voltage a moment ago, LiPo batteries have minimum voltage as well. If you discharge each cell below 3.2 volt, then it won't work perfectly for the next time. If you do so, the battery will become puffy, so don't discharge LiPo's less than the said voltage. You might notice there's a value called C rating on the level of the battery. Well, brushless motor draws a lot of current. If your battery can't provide such a current when required, then the battery becomes very hot after each flight. And for heat, the electrolyte inside the battery evaporates and the battery also becomes puffy. Some people often say put the battery in refrigerator and after some time it will be fine like you are using it for the first time. Well don't do that. This technique kills your battery life so I'll definitely recommend not to do this. Usually I don't upload this type of content, I was upgrading obstacle avoidance unlimited drone range but right now I don't have proper parts to make them so should I upload this type of videos? Let me know in the comment section. So next video coming very soon till then bye bye.